Okay, hello guys, welcome back to Chris Flies Planes. Chris here, of course, and today we are back in DCS World 2.5 in the Harrier. We are going to be doing a seed mission today, which is a suppression of enemy air defences. Uh, mostly I'm just trying to kind of get used to the Harrier, get used to the weapons, get used to flying it, so don't expect anything fantastic. Basically, if we look at the map, uh, we've got actually a flight of F-16s there, which are going to be in dangerous close range to these SA-8s. This is what we are dealing with, just on this little island in the river, mostly to make them easy to find. We've also got a couple of flights of A-10s, but they are actually stripped of their armaments because I kept on finding them killing my guys. But I do like having a lot of our own forces flying around. It does add to the colour of the map. But yeah, so we are going to jump in and get going here. So we are in a cold and dark state right now, so we're going to very quickly go through the start process. So let's get battery on, generator on. We're going to radio through to the ground crew. Actually, we're not going to. We're not going to do a... Um, uh, a start with ground power. Let's just do a start without. So I've got my checklist here in front of me, so we're going to fly through that very quickly. Uh, I've started this plane a little ton in the last few days, so I'm actually getting pretty good at it. So we can get oxygen on. We're going to get your roll pitch SAS on. Q field can go on. RPS can go on. Uh, anti skid can go. Actually, we're going to leave anti skid on NWS because it means we don't have to hold the nose wheel steering button, which I find slightly more pleasurable. We're going to turn our parking brake on. We've got the battery and generator on. Uh, let's get the fuel boosters on. The fuel proportioner can go on. The JPTL switch is already on and manual fuel is off, which is fantastic. Throttle is now off. Uh, I actually mapped the throttle cutoff, which is you might find it super useful. If you do this, you'll see it get locked in position. If you pop that throttle cutoff, which is actually behind the throttle, it's going to move it back to locked. And then always make sure it's down as well. Uh, nozzle position level can be set to 10 degrees, which is about there, I think. And then fuel shot off handle and decks can be on, which is there and there. Now, um, this is slightly different order to how Chuck's Guide does it, but I think this is probably the correct way to do it. We're now going to turn on our radios, so pop that up. Uh, volumes need to go up full, which is a whole ton of scrolling. While I'm there, I'm just going to pop uh, these guys up as well. And... I'm going to pop this one on an engine, and this one is actually going to go on stores rather than EHSD because we don't need it on EHSD. This one is going to go to channel uh, 1, I think that is for Cobaletti. Let's ring through to them and get our startup permission. In the meantime, we can just turn these guys on, which is our head-up display. Put this to radar. Okay, so that's our startup clearance. We're going to flick the engine switch. Uh, we can hear that starting up. As soon as we get to about 10% uh, fan. So that was the APU starting up first, and now the engine's starting up. Once we hit about 10% fan, I think it's 9% actually, we're going to pop that throttle forward as far as it will go. you see with the parking brake on, it will actually lock at 10%, which is where we want it to be. So we can leave that for a moment. Whilst we're doing that, we're going to move the stick out of the way. We're going to flick this guy to nav. DMT is going to go on. Pro Peak can go to Auto, Fleur can go on. We're going to turn on the RWR, uh, all the countermeasures. This is going to go to Receive, it's automatic. Looking down here, everything looks uh, pretty fine as we go around. We're going to arm the ground ejection seat. Uh, flaps can go to On, and we're going to leave them on Auto. And just looking at my checklist quickly, I think we're looking pretty great. Yep, we're looking pretty good. So we're going to request our taxi to runway. I'm not sure why our kneeboard is not showing any of our flight cards, but nothing to worry about. So we're going to pop the parking brake off. And I'm actually going to set the uh, nozzle to uh, 55%. This is going to give us a slightly more fine-grained throttle control as we taxi. Basically means the throttles uh, just past the 45 degree angle towards the floor. So obviously it gives us less forward thrust and more downward thrust. We're going to be doing a uh, short takeoff today. We're not going to do a conventional because our plane's actually quite heavy. 
you can see we are pretty loaded up on the old armaments. Let's get the canopy closed. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. And... Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing a short takeoff. We're not going to do a vertical takeoff because uh, I think we're probably too heavy for it and honestly it's unnecessarily risky. We'll do another video with some vertical takeoff and landings and stuff. But for now, we're going to do a short takeoff, which is still pretty fun. And then we'll head over to our mission area. So let's just uh, radio through to get our takeoff clearance. What are we doing there? So I'm just going to start out selecting our surface to air missile. It's going to flip cool on. We're clear for takeoff, so let's just head out and do that. So we're going to start out with our side arm surface to ground missiles, not surface to air, sorry, surface to ground missiles. If that doesn't work, we do have some Mark 82 bombs, we can do some CCRP bombing. I haven't done a lot of CCRP bombing, so I find it a little bit clunky still. But let's get ourselves lined up down the runway here, get the brakes on, and let's just check we're ready to go. We're going to turn our lights on, I'm going to put our... These guys, no not these guys, these guys I'm going to put on. I'm actually not 100% sure still what light should be on at this point. Uh, if any of you guys could let me know, that would be super useful. We're now going to set our uh, STO stop, which basically is the stop just down here in front of the nozzle position lever. And we set that by putting it all the way back. So you can see this is the position lever, this is the STO stop. So I've got these mapped. So we're going to put it all the way back, we're going to lock our nozzles against it. And then we're going to push it forwards until our nozzles are at 55%, which is there. You can just see that in the middle of my screen. And then we can put the nozzle back to 10 degrees, which is where it wants to be right now. Okay, so let me just have a look at my weight chart. So I think we're going to be probably at... Um, let's... So, let's do 80 knots. So basically, we're going to uh, hold the brakes. We're going to advance the throttle fully forwards. We're going to make sure our nose wheel's locked, actually, before we do anything. Uh, we're going to advance our throttle to fully forwards, and then once we hit 80 knots, we're going to release the brakes, obviously. Once we hit 80 knots, we'll then slam the nozzle up to our STO stop at 55 degrees, and we should take off. So, hold the brakes, throttle to full, release the brakes, and 40, 50, 60, 70 nozzle. And we are extremely heavy, it would appear. Let's get gear up and we're going to start working that nozzle back now to zero degrees. Keeping the uh, angle of direction, sorry, the, um, I can't remember what it's called. The, the circle with the two lines either side of it. Our velocity vector uh, above the witch's hat. So that's done. We're looking pretty great. Let's pitch our nose up to about there, get it trimmed. And we're going to climb up to around uh, probably about 10,000 feet. I think that puts us at a pretty good range from the SAM 8s. We're going to switch this over into nav mode. And we're going to start turning in towards uh, waypoint one, which is set, hopefully in our mission area. We should be able to tell where they are pretty easily because I put them purposely on that little island in the river. But it's actually our SAM eights have shown up. Let's switch this right screen over onto our electronic warfare screen. Keep nosing up at around that 15 degree mark. So I do want to get altitude nice and quickly here. So I do not want to die. We set on radar mode, we are set on radar altimeter. Okay, uh let's start nosing her down ever so slightly here. And in theory they should be there. That little island there. So we as I said we're gonna start out, let's get our master arm on. We're gonna set to air ground mode now. Uh, 
and let's see what we can do. So we're at air ground mode, we've got cool on, we've got our missiles selected, so hopefully this is everything we need to do. Okay, there's one away. They've also got one away, so we are going to, uh, got chaff firing, we're going to turn away. Okay, there's a missile launch gone. Here we go. As you can see, that was a miss. So, oh no, we did some damage. So my experience with these, you do have to unselect them and then reselect them now. Uh, I was interesting to get stuck. We're going to start our turn back in and see what we can do. Oh, that noise is just beautiful. Okay. Let's nose down towards them. And then we're going to turn off. I think we're okay to turn off here. I don't think that's for... Oh, okay. We'll be okay to turn off a little bit slower than that. So we're going to... Okay... Let's see what we can do here. I'm just making sure the plane's level. I don't think the autopilot's working in this plane. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, but... Okay, there we go. So let's try switching to our bombs. So we're going to switch over to one of our Mark 82s. We're going to switch this guy to uh, auto. Set that to that. Quantity, I'm going to drop two at a time. Oh, actually, let's drop four at a time in multiples of two. And... Right. So if I do uh, this, I'm going to set our DMT on. Still set to air to ground, and let's see what we can do here. I'm going to make sure we keep our altitude up. Try and keep out of range of their missiles. We are going to be flying basically straight over them at this point, so we do want to be exceptionally careful. Uh, so, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so this is the hard bit initially, so let's get our zoom out a little bit and let's see what we can do. We know they're here somewhere. Okay, let's maintain our altitude again. Let's get that on. I fuck that. Uh, let's try that again. We don't have air to ground mode on anymore. Let's quickly switch that on. And we seem to have unsexed everything. This is what I mean. I'm not quite a hundred percent. Okay. Well, we got that done, but we now have a... Let our altitude come down way too far there. So let's just turn ourselves around. Get our altitude back up.
We're actually now lined up with the uh, with the DMT, so we should be absolutely fine to actually come in for a bombing run this time. So let's just loop her around. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. There is our bomb line. So the goal is to keep her level and keep that obviously over the pitch correct. Actually, I guess we want to do this. If it's on that side, we probably won't be turning in. I think that probably means, yeah, we've got a missile out. Problem is, I don't actually know the effective height or altitude of their missiles. That is definitely the effective altitude of their missiles. Okay, we are in some pretty major shit here. What I'm going to try and do is set my trim up. I don't know if we're going to be able to work our way out of this one, but uh, let's see what we can do. So, trim. So we need our roll trim, which is our bank trim set. Uh, and let's see what we can do. and get her level and eject. I think I really may have ruined someone's day there. I think I just dropped my plane on their house. Oh, into their lawn. So, not too bad. Uh, let's very quickly uh, jump back in and give it a very another. Unless we took out one of them. Yeah, I'm not sure the, the maximum height. I landed my plane in their law. But... Okay, so let's just fly our way through this very quickly. Uh, so those on, fuel prop, those guys on, that on. Let's pop these on now. One, two, three, four. Let's pop that to like 50. These guys can go on, that can go on, that can go on, those guys can go on. Uh, throttle is locked back, anti-skid, we're actually going to keep off. Flaps do want to go on though. Uh, you can go on, 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 uh, on, on, let's get these up. This is going to go to stores, this is going to go to engine, on, on, on. I'm uh, not 100% sure what that noise was, that was a... Uh, that didn't sound like a very good thing. Let's just switch the engine start on. And let's see if that noise was anything blowing up. That was a really weird noise to be hearing at this stage in a flight. Let's get that down, let's make sure our air brake is on. Get our canopy closed. 
and pop our throttle forwards. Just very quickly, radio for startup. So our taxi clearance. Let's just get rolling. Let's see where our stops at. 56. I'm going to put it a little bit lower because we had a bit of struggle last time. Set at 51. Okay. Set at 50 for the sake of a round number. Um, cool. Let's head out to the runway here. Actually, what we are going to do, we're going to cheat a little bit, seeing as we've done this already. We're going to do just a little cheaty uh, taxiway takeoff here, just to get back up in the air. Should be plenty. Going to turn water on just to help. Okay, well that worked by the skin of our teeth. Okay, it's good nav mode. And we're going to be climbing and turning and doing all manner of stuff here just to try and get up to altitude and onto mission area as soon as possible because we've already flown this once in this video. So, it's a little bit of experiment guys, I'm going to say it now rather than saying it at the end of the video, just in case some of you do switch off midway. If you are enjoying this video, please do leave a like, and if you do want to see more, please hit subscribe, it helps me a huge amount. The other thing I really want to know is if you guys fly this plane on a regular basis, please do give me some hint and tips, what am I doing right, what am I doing wrong, how can I fly it better. A lot of you guys kind of have gone through this learning process with the Harry already, so it really helps me out to have some feedback from you guys. Uh, do try and keep it constructive though, no one likes an asshole. Or maybe some people. Like girls in web comics, apparently. Uh, right, this should put us onto our mission area. And we're going to try and get some proper altitudes. Uh, how are we looking in terms of. Ooh, that's not very useful. Uh, so, RWR, everything's on. Let's get this switched over to uh, electronic warfare mode. Not sure what all these buttons do. Just press them and see what happens. Nothing. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. Let's just get DMT on already. We know roughly where these guys are going to be. In fact, we know exactly, realistically. So let's try and boop. And let's see how we did there. We did pretty well. Oh, I say we did well. We absolutely spot on nailed that. Okay, let's just get our master arm on. Anything we're doing wrong here? Auto... Yeah, we're looking pretty great, I'd say. I'm not sure entirely why we can't see the flight thing yet. We might be a little bit too far away. Or not? Oh, edge ground. Here we go. Oh, I do want to get more altitude, please. Fairly imminently. I've got a launch. Ooh, okay. 
I thought we'd survive that one, but it would appear not. Not sure we're going to come out of this one alive. Okay, let's uh, once again plug out of that and... Okay, at least this time we're going to put it down into a field rather than in someone's front lawn. Okay guys, well that was me uh, trying to do some seed flying in the Harrier. As you can see, I have a few issues in terms of dodging missiles. I mean, obviously I can't dodge missiles, I just chose not to. I did think maybe we were going to be high enough that time, but it would appear they do have a effective range of more than uh, 10 kilometers up. So, something to bear in mind next time. But as I said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you do want to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Fly safe.